From ABC, this is World News Tonight. With Finally tonight, our person of the week. Because of what the Gulf crisis has done to the price of oil, there's been more than the usual amount of talk these days about the U.S. getting along without foreign oil and how in the future the country would be a lot better off using other sources of energy, which means, of course, tapping the national imagination. The person we choose this week is quite an example of innovation at work. Farm, 100 acres, raise corn, beans, <laughs> cattle. <laughs> That's all I ever was as a farmer. For 50 years of it, then I quit. And then I went in the energy business. And the electric company that serves Woodward, Iowa, has never collected a penny from John Lorenzen. He's never hooked up. He's never had to. John started tinkering with windmills to power the family farm back in the 1930s. Some of the bigger ones, it took a tornado to run them. There was no good. But before long, John had fashioned windmills that were much more efficient, that could keep the farmhouse lit and the radio going. In 1940, they come by here and they wanted me to hook up. It was just $3 minimum to hook on. It was awful cheap, you couldn't hardly pass it up. And I told him I didn't need it. I had all the electric I needed. And John Lorenzen kept on tinkering. Today, John's sleek, efficient windmills made from parts that he bought here and there feed current into these batteries, some of them 80 years old, and then into these 40-year-old converters, which produce household current. Now this is 110 AC. That can run anything. Like all of John's tools and his gadgets, he picks up old parts most anywhere. Oh, old junk and sails and stuff. Like when John noticed that his windmills were not always catching the breeze. So he bought an old printing press and designed a positively radical windmill. You can set this on the ground and it'll run by itself no matter where, which way the wind slows. John Lorenzen was born right here on the farm in Woodward. He only made it to the sixth grade. His father was about to have the farm rewired when he died suddenly in 1923. John. 15 at the time, learned to do the work himself. Oh, sometimes you get into a lot of books, but the best way is just figure it out yourself. Today, between tinkering and figuring, John's day is pretty full. Just ask his wife, Alva. He goes to bed at night, and he says, well, I don't know how to fix it. And the next morning when he gets up, he gets up, I got and he the says, idea well, figured I out. got the idea all figured <laughs> out. And I tease him. I says, well, I go to bed to sleep, and you go to bed to work. John woke up one morning during the energy crisis of the 1970s, when many of us were still asleep, and decided to find alternatives to the gas and oil he used on the farm. The air that is heated by these solar panels is stored and pumped through his house, thanks to his homemade furnace. And by putting electrodes and salt into simple well water... Gas comes out of your water. Hydrogen gas, which Lorenzen mass produces in this device. Now we're going to shoot it off. That's a little hydrogen bomb. <laughs> Today, the Lorenzen household stoves and washer dryers all run off hydrogen. Since John's 1981 pickup was converted to run on gasoline and hydrogen, his mileage has doubled, 40 miles per. For years now, when they've been in the neighborhood, experts in the energy field have been dropping in on John's farm. They come from all over. I'm going to have to lock the gate pretty soon. <laughs> well, John Lorenzen is a very clever fellow. The things that he's doing are actually well known, and many other people could do it. It's just a matter of society deciding it wants to go this route. John Lorenzen is 82 now, still fiddling with new sources of energy, still figuring and still tinkering. Well, you buy an old machine, take it all apart, and clean it all up, the motors or whatever it is, and needs any parts, put them in, rebuild them if you have to, and put it together again. And that's all the... If it don't work, do it over again. And so we choose John Lorenzen. We were particularly struck by his ingenuity, obviously, but also by his attitude. If something doesn't work, you hear him say, don't moan about it, just try it again. After all, what is ingenuity without persistence? That's our report on World News Tonight. I'm Peter Jennings. Have a good weekend. Good night.